see Ron Paul get the nomination for the Republican Party. Whoa! I really think he's a sound traditional conservative. Yeah. Um, it's a surprising um, come of things, and I really think he really sticks to the Constitution and really stands for what conservatives believe in. Okay. Uh, well, so you know, wait, 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 that, but it brings me to the other sure. question. Is there any likely, let's say, top, what are you trying to say? top tier <laughs> GOP candidate? Because uh, if I was a betting woman, I'd say Ron Paul doesn't have a chance. What's success for you in this campaign? What's success? Um, what win? Is one one is the That's goal? Not Ron Paul, this far out libertarian with no chance of being elected to anything other than a house seat. If Ron Paul is, seems to have a certain, if you will, cult following among, among people <laughs> even more libertarian than I, I think it's possible that you could win the Republican nomination. Of course, it's possible, but it's difficult. It's likely to... Ron Paul, five million dollars. That was the breaking news in our past area. Quite impressive, especially when you compare it to Mr. McCain. Yes, I uh, uh, may have gotten a lot of uh, contributions from the extraterrestrial vote, but. Uh, uh, Ron Paul is not going to be the president. Years or so, um, we put on this big charade and think that we're going to change things by voting for someone who sounds correct or who the media shoves in our face. Oops, that was my bad caller. I cut you off, Evansville. Because more than half of the Al Qaeda that are committing suicide in Iraq right now are Saudis, and nobody even talks okay, about look, it. I'm concerned about I all think, of this. Let me, please when let they're me seeking answer. A I think that the real small but hardcore Ron Paulers probably found something to like last night. I think that we should take our marching orders from Al Qaeda. If they want us off the Arabian Peninsula, we should leave. No! That it was Ron Paul. Yeah. Same Ron Paul who pulls in a whopping 2% in the polls of likely Republican voters. How does that happen? Even though this guy has raised over $5 million in the third quarter, only 2%. Why is that? Well, you know, he's got a, for me at least, the breaking point are the policies that I don't agree with, like pulling out of Iraq. Why Giuliani? Clear, concise, direct answers, and he's a man who's got a track record of execution. They, uh, of all, of, uh, it, it was a very mixed reaction tonight, but Rudy Giuliani definitely benefited from tonight's debate, very clearly. From Texas, Ron Paul with 25%. How, and then you got Rudy at about 20%. How is Ron Paul's number so high? We've had so many emailers say that clearly uh, some online communities are messing Absolutely. with the, uh, the outcome. Ron Paul. Uh, a congressman uh, from Texas, uh, switching gears here, who, uh, of course, is running for the Republican nomination. Uh, he is an isolationist. Politico today points out, you know, obviously he's not going to win the nomination, unfortunately, but he could be a spoiler. He could hurt other candidates, namely Huckabee. Is, is Ron Paul's support going to get to the point where it's significant for other candidates? I mean, I think that Ron, first of all, it's always fun when the guy gets ahead who has no intention of winning and isn't even really trying. Liberal followers may not realize Paul, also an OBGYN doctor, is a vocal abortion opponent. Republican Congressman Ron Paul would get the nomination. The name Ron Paul is the most searched term on the blogging website Technorati. His campaign website gets more hits by far than any other Republican candidate. And he has more friends than any other Republican candidate on the social networking website MySpace. In the real world, another thing, he is stuck firmly among the lesser known candidates. So welcome Congressman and Congressman, according to my calculation or my rough notes, we didn't hear from you until, you didn't get a question until 9.35. Do you think you're being, tre you're being treated fairly like by the debates? Cell phone connection. Well, it will be because of conspiracy if he doesn't do well. Well, I don't, I don't know what, it, what it's going to be, but I mean, Ron Paul enjoys the support of the military. I mean, the common rank and file military, he has the most donations to his campaign. And where do you get that? And that's to me. Where do you that's get that? That's to me. Where did the you same way, the same, the same way you get facts. I know what I read. Ron Paul really has no business being on stage as a legitimate representative of Republicans. Criticism. Some say you're the person who doesn't belong in a Republican debate. You are a past libertarian candidate for president, of course. You have views that are out of the what many would think of the mainstream, at least of today's Republican Party. I want to read you some of the criticism that came out after this last debate and ask you to respond to the politics of it. These are some comments made of your performance. Here's Roger Simon writing in the Politico. In terms of the presidency, nobody cares what Ron Paul says, perhaps not even Ron Paul. Gloria Borger writing in U.S. News and World Report. Representative Ron Paul of Texas, who gives new meaning to the question asked by Ross Perot's former running mate, Admiral James Stockdale, who am I? Why am I here? And in the Daily News of New York, an editorial, Ron Paul, whose performance Tuesday proved him the Sanjaya of the political arena. Note, 
that Ron Paul has um, basically allied himself with these people. He appears with students for truth on campus, and he's appeared on radio shows like 9-11 Conspiracy Nut, Alex Jones. And I would hope that that, that would disqualify him uh, the next time around from appearing on stage with other Republicans. Pessimism, declinism, populism, and inequality. You sounded very pessimistic tonight, sir. Was that your intent? You've seen this with the online polls, where Ron Paul starts winning, so they pull him off the poll. That's probably happened six, seven, eight times I know of in Yahoo polls and other major polls and uh, they're stacking yes yeah, they're stacking the deck this way they have it every campaign he did not win this debate period right, well, let's, let's just... last night let me run this little clip to remind our viewers what happened they attack us because we've been over there we've been bombing Iraq for 10 years that's an extraordinary statement as someone who lived through the attack of September 11 that we invited the attack because we were attacking Iraq I don't think I've ever heard that before and I've heard some pretty absurd explanations for September 11. He really had some supporters in that auditorium. Uh, uh, are you ready to back away from uh, the implication of what you were saying? I want to run false but I need shots of the audience. People needing their crap like that. You know, uh, voiceover. Ron Paul wants to give me 20 minutes in the history of the Middle East. I can't let him. All right, one more question. We got one more minute. Real All right, but at one point I did feel sorry for Ron but Paul. But you feel sorry for everybody. Well, he kind of looked sorry for He kind of looked like Barney Fife there for All a right. second. So if you don't get the Republican nomination, you're not in the not in the top of the polls now. Would you run as an independent? Sure. I mean, I guess there's people like Duncan Hunter and Tancredo and and Ron Paul. They're going to have a hard time getting into the uh, winner's circle here. Yeah, they're freeloaders. Think there is a libertarian strain on the campuses today? I think there's a libertarian strain in every American because all it means is you believe in liberty. I want President Bush's endorsement? I don't, I, I have, I, that has not crossed my mind because I know it wouldn't come. I mean, he didn't endorse but Would you want it? If he said to you, if he said, I, uh, I want to know, do you want my endorsement? I would lose credibility. I, so I you think would say I, no. I think, I, I think that would hurt me. That he wouldn't offer it and you I wouldn't would say ask no him. to President Bush's endorsement. No, I would lose all credibility. Okay, but then what happens if we do leave? We're there. We've been there for a long time. A, what message does it send to the terrorists, the Al-Qaeda terrorists who attacked us on 9-11? You sound like a pro forma 1930s isolationist. No, I'm not, no, I'm not an isolationist. I am a non-interventionist because the founders of this country that, uh, that I listened to carefully mm -hmm. were very much, they were not protectionists at all. They were free traders. They wanted trade and travel and friendship. In fact, that's your point. You say, you say you're the true Republican when it comes right. to uh, the Republican candidates. Right. And against uh, any U.S. Uh, military or almost all foreign policy involvement abroad, uh, you wouldn't think that would have a lot of appeal to the military. My guess is that uh, he, he's got used some libertarian uh, type mailing list. That... Right. Let's go on to the next email. Demetria Sumner from Garland, Texas writes, Mr. Paul, it has been said that you are a libertarian in Republican clothes. Your views and opinions in reference to America's policy in the Middle East is inconsistent with that of Republican base. Some say that you are running on the wrong ticket. How do you answer this criticism? And how can we be sure if you are elected president of the United States that you will keep America strong by upholding true conservative values. Well, Doug, you got a few boos tonight, especially when you said America wants the war over and wants the troops home. That didn't get an applause from the Republicans you need in order to get the nomination. Redstate.com recently announced it was banning bloggers from posting Ron Paul-related comments. The site's brand's Ron Paul posters is, quote, a bunch of liberals pretending to be Republicans.